we are able to bend or rotate our body in places where two parts of our body seem to be joined together like elbow shoulder or neck these places are called dash answer joints you feel of something hard pressing against your fingers the hard structure or the dash answer bones dash cannot be bent it is not one long bone from the upper arm to our wrist it is different bones joined together at the elbow answer bone the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of the other bone such a joint allows movements in all directions is dash answer ball and socket joint that is from arm to shoulder joint the joint where our neck joins the head is a dash joint it allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn the head to our right or left answer pivot in a dash joint a cylindrical bone rotates in a ring answer pivot the elbow has a dash joint that allows only back and forth movement answer hing some joints between bones in our head are different from those we have discussed so far the bones cannot move at these joints such joints are called dash joints answer fixed when you open your mouth wide you can move your lower jaw away from your head try to move your upper jaw this is a joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head which is a dash joint answer fixed all the dash in our body also form a framework to give a shape to our body answer bones the human skeleton is composed of around dash bones at birth answer 305 the number of bones in the skeleton changes with age it decreases to dash bones by adulthood after some bones have fused work the framework is called the dash answer 206 skeleton the dash shows the shapes of the bones in our bodies answer x rays hand is made up of several small bones called dash answer carpels ribs join the chest bone and the backbone together to form a box this is called the dash answer rib cage there are dash ribs on each side of chest some important internal parts of our body lie protected inside this cage answer 12 backbone is made up of many small bones called dash answer vertebrae The backbone consists of dash vertebrae. The rib cage is joined to these bones. Answer 33. Two bones on the back are prominent where the shoulders are called dash bones. Answer shoulder. dash bones enclose the portion of your body below the stomach this is the part you sit on answer pelvic
द डैश इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनी बोन्स जॉइन टूगेदर इट एनक्लोजेस एंड प्रोटेक्ट्स ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी ब्रेन आंसर स्कल There are some additional parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent. These are called dash. Answer cartilage. Feel your ear. There do not seem to be any bones here. You notice difference between the ear lobe and the portions above it. You do feel something in the upper parts of the ear lobe, but not as hard as a bone. This is dash. Answer cartilage. A swollen region is the upper arm is a dash. The muscle bulge due to contraction. Answer muscle. You can observe similar contraction of muscles in your leg when you walk or run. When contracted, the muscle become dash. It pull the bone. Answer: shorter, stiffer, and thicker. Dash work in pairs. When one of them contracts, the bone is pulled in that direction. The other muscles of the pair relaxes. To move the bone in the opposite direction, the relaxed muscle contracts to pull the bone towards its original position, while the first relaxes. Answer: Muscles. A dash can only pull. It cannot push. Thus, two muscles have to work together to move a bone. Answer: Muscle. The body of an earthworm is made up of many dash joined end to end. Answer: Rings. An earthworm does not have bones. It has dash, which help to extend and shorten the body. Answer: Muscles. Repeating such dash expansions and contractions, the earthworm can move through soil. Answer: Muscle. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe.